What is the Laffer curve? The Laffer curve shows that tax rate increases boost government revenue, but only up to a point. If they are raised beyond that point, government tax revenues start to drop. The Laffer curve was drawn on a napkin by the American economist Arthur Laffer in 1974 in a restaurant in Washington, D.C. He explained that sometimes the government could cut taxes without reducing government revenue. In fact, sometimes cutting the tax rate can result in greater government revenue. It depends on what the tax rate is before the cuts. The Laffer curve became an icon in supply-side economics, which focuses on supply to boost economic growth and create new jobs. Supply-side economics contrasts with Keynesian policies, which focus on increasing aggregate demand. According to supporters of what the Laffer curve suggests, when taxes get too high, the motivation to work hard or invest falls. If people invest and work less, less wealth is created, that is, less income is created. Often, that wealth is created abroad if people and businesses relocate to other countries with lower tax rates. Public services also suffer if government revenue declines. When tax rates are too high, government should reduce them for two reasons. Firstly, to boost tax revenues. Secondly, to promote greater GDP growth. According to the Laffer Center at the Pacific Research Institute in San Francisco, says the following. As drawn, the Laffer curve shows that at a tax rate of 0%, the government would collect no tax revenue, just as it would collect no tax revenue at a tax rate of 100%, because no one would be willing to work for an after-tax wage of zero 